sunshine on the great occasion. Liverpool team in goal, Pepe Reina, who makes some fine saves with costing a couple of goals at Old Trafford. Out go Arbeloa and Aurelio for Herpia and Risa, both veterans of this special rivalry with Jamie Carragher, as you say, moving to right back. In midfield, the suspended Mascherano's place goes to the 21-year-old Brazilian Lucas. And Fernando Torres is about to step out for his first Merseyside derby. Amongst the substitutes, Steve Finnan, who's missed the last six games with a groin strain. Well, like Jamie in the studio, I'm a little surprised at this selection. Jamie Carragher been shifted from centre of defence to right back. I think Skittle and Carragher are strong, formidable, have everything they need to cope with Yakubu. I'm not so sure in a one-on-one -on -one if Yakubu gets at him with his pace that he won't just blow him away at times. So he's made this decision. Three of these four, of course, went to Milan and played ever so well. Carragher, Skittle and Hoopia that night. So he may have, you know, he may have midweek in mind when he's picked this side. The usual two at the moment, and Alonso and Lucas just playing what I would call support football, really, from midfield. Don't expect to see either of these two get too far ahead of the ball, if at all. That will be down, obviously, to Gerard with support from these areas, and Babel from the left, and Kout from the right. But I think these are areas in the wide areas where if Everton win the ball back quickly, and Kout and Babel have overcommitted, Everton may be able to spring on them. The Everton goalkeeper, Tim Howard, played for the USA in Poland in midweek. In front of him, Joseph Yobo's back from an ankle injury, which means England's Jolyon Lescott reverts for left-back. Tony Hibbert in on the right, so that Phil Neville can join a five-man midfield. Stephen Pina restored after illness. And as you've heard, Tim Cahill out for the season with that broken foot. So Everton hoping that Yakubu can break his scoring duck against Liverpool. And on the bench, no attacking options. Andrew Johnson still out. And Victor Anichebi unwell after his midweek trip to Nigeria. Well, I'm not surprised to see this formation from David Moyes. Only 13 away goals this team have conceded all season in the Premier League. It's a fantastic record, and it is based on that strong defence. When they've taken Pivot, when he comes back into the side, plays right back, it does allow Phil Neville to move into midfield. I do think in this system that Carsley today might just be told Steven Gerrard gets himself anywhere here in front of these two centre-backs. Lee, you've got to just button them down. You've got to be in contact with them. You've got to stop them playing. That might be Carsley's job today. Ahead of that, I do think they've got talent. Certainly in Arteta from the right, Pina from the left. And Osman will be asked to do what Tim Cahill has done so well when he plays. Support Yakubu as much as he can. But when you lose it, drop back in, make five in midfield and make it difficult for Liverpool. But Everton's job, I think, early. Keep the game nice and tight. Well, if you wonder why we bang on about uh, fourth and fifth place, the difference can be measured in millions of pounds if fourth place leads to a Champions League charge the following season, as with Liverpool, who qualified from fourth spot for the campaign which brought them the European crown in Istanbul. It's still Anfield, and it's still the Anfield anthem. With more confusion about the boardroom politics and whether that uh, supposed new stadium will be started. Well, it's such a big week, not only for Evan, but for, for the team in red. Four or five massive games coming up. They'll either keep them going and keep them forging forward this season or just about end it. Well, it would be a big enough game to command your attention, even if it wasn't a scrap to finish fourth in the table. Rich in history, rich in drama, and rich in rivalry. Side by side in the local neighbourhood and in the Premier League table, you find Liverpool and Everton. This is Derby Day at Anfield, and it's live. And that goes under the category of Scouse humour. That's a fairly tongue-in-cheek, provocative way to start the afternoon, isn't it?
We are at Anfield for the Merseyside derby. Two matches uh, elsewhere that have been played or are being played today. Chelsea beat Middlesbrough uh, with a Cavalio goal. It's one apiece now at White Hart Lane. Bent and butt. The score is there. We're interactive. If you wish to enjoy that facility, push the red button on your remote control and follow the instructions. Match commentators Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Well, it was Dirk Kaut who settled it. Liverpool's way at Goodison Park back in October. A typically dramatic occasion. Two penalty kicks after incidents that had seen two Everton players sent off both the Tony Hibbert and Phil Neville in the Everton team again today. <laughs> Liverpool get the ball rolling here. Jamie Carragher at right back as we expected. Kirtle and Herpia are the two central defenders for Rafa Benitez. And Fernando Torres through the middle. Trying to fasten on to an early direct approach from the home side. We're just looking early on at the, the way that David Moyes has set up, man. Here's Torres. Looks like Phil Neville's going to play right-hand side. He certainly started. I oh, just swapping now, is he? He started the game there. And I just wonder, he's just jogging back out there. And I just wonder if he's with Ryan Babel. We talk about the threat of Babel with his pace. He is hugely quick, Babel. And it might just be that David Moyes feels that his defensive qualities of his skipper might just help. And uh, Teta's playing in one. Here's Pienaar. Arteta. And... Uh, crisply hit shot that Reina got plenty behind and hung on too well that was a lovely strike you know, this is where they're obviously now they want, we're seeing where Arteta's occupying a position and it will be that to do that he can strike the ball either foot he's comfortable with this is a lovely strike just bouncing before the goalkeeper good little take from Reina a bit of a wobbly day as nervous as I've seen him last weekend Pepe Reina Phil Neville did play uh, on the right-hand side of midfield against Portsmouth and we saw them recently at Goodison Park. And it worked well for Everton that day. Skirtle. Many more Liverpool players have been away on international duty than uh, those in the Everton squad. Torres played a half for Spain. has uh, shown a voracious appetite for goals, particularly here at Anfield. He's actually scored in the last five home games in the Premier League. And if he scores today, it will equal a Liverpool club record. Here's Babel. Couch. Howard's ball. It'll be interesting to see how Torres and Steven Gerrard play today. Much has been made about their recent form here, particularly here. And they've blown away. Well, I would think defence is not quite as well equipped as Everton to cope with them. This is probably the strongest test they've had. Derby Day is uh, notoriously unpredictable. Been almost as many away wins down the years as there has been home wins. It's actually, it is playing away just across Stanley Park in either direction. But if you put it into the general context, only Manchester United have beaten Liverpool in the last 51 league matches which have been staged at Anfield. <laughs> Done that a couple of times. Here's Yoba. Misjudged by Herpia. And uh, Alonso got a foot to it. Risa. Bursting to play, I'm sure, having had a, a spell out of the side. Here goes Bubble, bursting away from Hibbert, who uh, did enough to put him off without actually fouling him. Howard Webb's the referee, England's representative at the European finals. He was given the Easter Sunday, Grand Slam Sunday off by his Masters at the Premier League, but he certainly got the big game today. 
just for the record, Andy, just for the record, he's the last to referee to give Everton a penalty in the Premier League, and that was the last uh, game of last season when they got a spot kick against Portsmouth at uh, Goodison Park. And David Noyes, I think, his team should have had two already this season, and both in the same game. Liverpool at Goodison earlier this season. I think it's something like one penalty in 70 years at Anfield. So, <laughs> he won't be holding his breath for a one today, I don't think. I remember Wayne Clark knocking one in in the late 1980s. Lots of facts and figures around this fixture, but it's uh, going to unfold football-wise now in front of your eyes. And they're going to have to work really hard because I think they've got two really good defences. I talked about Everton's. It is one of the strengths of, of David Moyes' team, the ability not to concede, and so it is with Rafael Benitez. And people talk about Liverpool, very strong favourites to win here, but only Manchester United of the top six have actually beaten Everton in their own ground. Phil Neville's throw. Up in the air from Alonso, Arteta going for it. Picked out by Gerard Torres. Here's Lucas. And he's that bubble on his way, and he's done just that. Torres uh, sprinting into the centre. It's behind him now, and uh, swept away to safety by Carsley. Now, Torres not happy with the delivery. Kind of bubble dismissed him as well, but I think he was right. Torres to question it. It should have been better. Wasn't under any pressure. Reset. Wins at Liverpool the quarter. Had a pretty good conversion to Merseyside football from Manchester football, Phil Nell, in terms of commitment and strength for the cause. And they've got some targets in there. Liverpool, that is. And this might cause Everton a problem or two set plays. And met by Yobo. Oh, and Alonso just trying to. Take it beyond uh, Yakuba into a shooting position. But Torres has got the chance here. It's taken him less than seven minutes to score his first goal in a Merseyside derby. Well, this all starts because Yakubu doesn't deal with the ball on the edge of the box. He's back there. His job is to defend. He doesn't do a very good job of it. Yogo wins a decent header here. But once he's got the ball here, he's got to do something. Turns back into trouble. And they're not all over the place ever. No surprise, they're coming out from the, the corner. And all Torres has done is just drift away. Just watch him. He just stays where he is, doesn't do anything. Suddenly the ball's won back and he comes alive. And when Kout flicks it to him, well, Jaggy Elka does his best to get to him. But I'm not so sure he should be turning back in field there when you're defending a corner as Yakubu did. The finish was, well, as we would expect, unerring. Here's Gerard. Look out. Couldn't take it in the direction he was uh, wanting to. Torres again flying in was Carsley. Howard Webb didn't like the tackle. Oh, I thought... <laughs> it's a yellow card. Well, let's see this again. Ball breaks here. And he's a wee bit high. In fact, he's a good bit high. Defend again. They are buzzing. Virtually all read it. Could be the odd blue in there. The segregation the rules are officially suspended for this fixture, which is a, okay, a good point on behalf of uh, the Merseyside forces of law and order that they are prepared to do that for what's called a friendly derby. Well, they're after putting this game to bed very quickly, Liverpool. It's Gerrard, he's uh, tried to uh, give Howard the eyes and put it, uh, for the goalkeeper's right, put it too far wide. Yeah, just look at the doom of the eyes. Perfect start for the home side. And I think as a neutral, 
It's a perfect start for the game. Peter Reid doesn't chin me for saying that. And that it should now open up. So Torres has equaled this a record of scoring in six consecutive Anfield games in the top division, shared by, amongst others, Roger Hunt, Ian Rush, Michael Owen. That was in good company. <laughs> good company. And that's 21 Premier League goals, 19 of them here at Anfield. Yeah. He's got a lot to learn, the boy, isn't he? <laughs> He's quickly made himself a new home. It was an appeal, Yobo had his arm up straight away yeah. as the ball went to Torres, beseeching the assistant to raise his uh, flag, it didn't go up. No, they just hadn't got out far side. Alonso's giving it straight to Phil Neville. Not the yak will feel he owes his team now. Carsley. Torres in front of Yobo. He's only played it to Osman. Neville, too hurried, tension even getting to the uh, Everton skipper. Colin David Moyes really has, he's got to go with this 11, he, he can't be looking to bring on a, a, an Andrew Johnson or a needs no. to be, James Vaughan's also out. And, uh, well, that is his problem, any changes that are made, we can't change the front, and should anything happen to Yakubu. Nietzsche is the uh, surprise one because uh, that's how he came back from Nigeria and then had to go into hospital, I think on Thursday night. Feeling seriously unwell. Oh, he's going to leave that. Jagielka. Lucas wanting a, a shout, but it's hard to hear one in the uh, cacophonous atmosphere of Derby Day. Skirtle. Lescott. And this is done by Joe, reflecting the mood that Liverpool are in in these early minutes. Babel. Hibbert can't stop the cross coming in, it wasn't far away from Torres. Dealt with by Lescott. A better ball, a much better ball from Ryan Babel. That'll be a tough day for Tony Hibbert at right back. Risa fires it back in, but uh, this is a chance to assess whether Joseph Yobo had a case for his appeal. And uh, I think you'll find this at the top of the screen where they don't get out as that ball drops there. And you can see there the 18 yard line itself is perfect. Tony Hibbert doesn't get out. Jagielka almost gets across, but what is he doing? The yak turning straight into trouble. And three touches later, Hibbert on the down. Pina. Here is Yakubu with some damage to repair. Arteta. Everton ball. Lescott. Pinar can't get the pass right for Arteta. Yes, yes, yes. The Anfield pitch got a real soaking yesterday. Heavy rain up in the northwest of England. Yes, 
It's more of a tongue lashing being uh, distributed at the moment. From the two uh, bosses. Both of whom know uh, exactly uh, what they expect from their teams. They're quick to react when uh, instructions don't seem to be being uh, followed to the letter. Jagielka. Well, I've heard that going to feed it up to Yakubu from distance. It's got to be from the neck down, because if it isn't, then Hupi and Skitter will just come and clear it out themselves. Great run from Babo there. A beautifully delivered pass to him by Risa. Torres. Gerard. Looking for Torres again. Count rather got in the way. Incidentally, also at Liverpool's 100th of the season in uh, all competitions. And the scorer looking for another. We're setting up for Kaut. He goes again, Dirk Kaut. Hasn't had uh, much success in front of goal in the Premier League this season. Well, Torres is causing all sorts of problems. Can't cope with the man at the moment. Everton at the back. It's a good block, this from Tony Hibbert in the end. This is well wide, this attempt. He just doesn't know his positions there. He just got lost, the goalkeeper, not knowing where he was. No need to save the second one. Hit it, one of the local lads in the fixture. Oh, look who's going for this. And, uh, Cuba's learned his lesson. Um, yeah. Gates and horses come to mind. Yes. <laughs> Stable doors. <laughs> Carragher. years this month to find a, a time when Everton won the second league derby of a season. And, uh, eight Premier League wins over Liverpool have come in the first half of the campaign. Gerard, Lucas, and uh, Neville. Untidy and uh, I think he recognised Right away, that there was some retribution coming from the referee. But it comes from a long way away. You've got to be careful, Andy. He's one of only two players, and the other one's on the pitch uh, wearing the armband for Liverpool, who've been sent off twice in Merseyside derbies, and uh, he's already halfway <laughs> towards making it three. And we've had uh, less than 20 minutes. Well, it's 20 minutes, it's been dominated by the home side. They've been right on the front foot, apart from the one shot from Arteta early, very early on. It's been all about Liverpool, it's been all about can Everton defend and keep this man quiet. The answer so far has been no. But they're not alone in that. He might be called a kid in Spain, he's a man for Liverpool Football Club. Carsley. Jagielka <laughs> trying to force it forward in the end. Scantle was quicker to it than Yakubu. That has been the problem. The majority has been the long ball to Yakubu that hasn't been able to stick or find its target. Pretty dominant in action areas for Liverpool. Hibbert. And out by Hilpia. 
good strength in possession by Bubble. Cows. to use his goalkeeper like Yokuba shut it off. Don't let the look at this guy. That's a gesture of uh, faith, isn't it? That uh, yeah. he's been picked today. Well, I think in a, especially away in Milan as well against Inter. That was one where people thought it might not be used, but listen, the guy's a good player and he's experienced. see at Old Trafford is that he does uh, from his previous career expect a goalkeeper to come out and claim the ball. Yeah. He might have to just readjust with the uh, Pepe Reina's style of uh, doing his job. Peace uh, breaking out between Yakuba and Herpia. Uh, Tower Web wants to make sure that is the case. One thing we didn't point out, uh, I don't think, last weekend, Andy, um, the sending off of Mascherano was the first for Liverpool, first red card in the Premier League for almost two years. And when Rafa Benitez says that Liverpool, as a club, respect the laws of the game, he's is speaking the truth. Yeah. Forgive me if you mentioned it, I know I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Here's Herpia. You know, the main thing for Everton at the moment since the goal has been not to concede another. And just about achieved that objective. Work themselves back into the game the next one as an attacking force. Yeah, didn't uh, judge it well. A bit of a climb, possibly on Yakubu. The skirtle got round behind his fellow centre back in an important position, as it turned out. And now Lescott wins a corner, although Liverpool aren't happy about the awarding of it, particularly Carragher, who was deemed to get the last touch. The boyhood Evertonian goes back to defend against Everton for Liverpool. Well, they've dropped three right in front of Pepe Reina. Liverpool with their usual zone marking. And Reina can't get there. Out by Risa, though. I just wonder if David Moyes has worked on something. Corner-wise, with Liverpool's zone of marking. They've conceded a couple of goals this season that people might have worked on. I wouldn't have expected it first corner. I'll keep an eye on it. Here's Arteta. Back cleverly to Pina, he in turn to Lescott. Right. The ball for Yakubu rather than the, uh, the free scoring defender having a crack himself. What well, he might have done. How about that for pinpoint passing? And then Spaniard to another, Alonso to Torres. Who takes on Hibbert and skins him. And Carsley almost puts it back to Torres. No flag from Darren Cann, who's over on this side, the assistant. Yes, uh, Liverpool wanted a corner. He does love that one, Torres. And he looks like he's going to just play it on his right, and he just drags it past the defender. Herpia, who was the, uh, the Everton scorer in Goodison Park in October. Kubu is... Uh, Across again to challenge the uh, veteran. Well, it's just knocked him over. It's a foul. I mean, goodness. Timber. <laughs> Still hoping to get a, a new deal for next season here at Anfield. Sammy Herpia. Current contract finishes in the summer. Couch. He's, uh, okay, I think with this role on the right hand side, it suits his uh, great uh, sense of industry. And 
Evans maybe is not quite uh, expected to, to be a frequent scorer. No, well, that, that won't help him. He wants to be in the team. And Benitez thinks he can do the job. So, the job he's doing. Risa. Nice off Philip Neville. Now, 25 minutes in. Neville haven't got started as an attacking force at all in this game. As you feel already, it's going to be hard for them to get one goal. So if they were to go two adrift here, it would be a devastating blow. Gerard takes it. Oh, takes cast it. Yeah. Should have been two for Liverpool. Well, let's look to simplest of tasks. To just nod in here. Doesn't move an awful lot. He's got marks. Phil Neville so busy looking at him. Look at Phil Neville. No idea where the ball is. He's got all over Cout. And Cout just sees it right onto his head and somehow misses it, doesn't get the contact. Torres, Gerard feeding off him. That's the understanding that's worked so well since Rafa Benitez has come up with this formation. Gerard with the back heel. And uh, again, tough for Everton defend, to defend it. And Jagielka helped out because counts brought him down. I tell you the difference, you know, a major difference in the first 25 minutes, Martin, is the fact that every time Liverpool have knocked it forward to Torres, it's stuck, or he's got it, and he's kept the play. And every time Everton have knocked it forward in Yakuba's area, it's come straight back. A lot of the time it's been the service, it hasn't been good enough to Yakubu, but that's a major difference on both sides. Is that kind of ball's food and drink for Skittle and Hubia. He wasn't going to be suckered in by a, a move from the Everton Spaniard. I think he enjoyed that. Alonso. Into the fellow Spaniard. Jagielka. Pina. Stopped by uh, Count with his challenge. And it's Phil Neville, Osman. Good turn away from Lucas. And gets back. Gerard. Lucas. Hibbert being challenged again by the running of Babel. Well, just for a minute. Tim Howard was coming into no man's land there. In the last minute, he just backed away sensibly. Here's Risa. More good tempo from Liverpool. Babel! Well, maybe he's thinking about heading it and then tried to just cushion it in with his right foot. Well, that's the second great chance Liverpool have had. It's a wonderful ball, and why on earth he's getting no contact in that, I don't know. Well, that was real tentative. Just go and throw yourself at that, put your head on it and put your team 2-0 up. That's what he should have done. Well, he knows the value of a second goal, and it hasn't come for Liverpool, although they've looked far more likely to uh, score again than Everton have to equalise. Here's Arteta. Lescott. The turn Carrigan. Scott helps out. Arteta. The worst ball, but... Uh, Looking height in the middle, Osman going for that. Such a, a big series of matches coming up uh, for Liverpool. A trilogy with Arsenal, uh, including in the middle of uh, two Champions League quarter-finals, the Premier League visit to the Emirates, and you can see that with us Saturday noon, Sky Sports 1 and Sky Sports HD 1. Lescott, who played the... Uh, Second half for England in Paris. Rafa Benitez was probably pleased to see Steven Gerrard come off having played the first. You know, 
a similar role in terms of the shape of the team as uh, Liverpool asked from him. Neville's cross, measured only for Herpia. Count. Cool control by Yobo. Well, that's about the first time I can remember the ball being that high forward for Everton on their right hand side. The balls forward like that just have not been of sufficient quality to trouble Liverpool in any way at all. It's interesting, Phil Neville playing on the right of uh, this uh, five man midfield. Yeah. And it, um, Liverpool looking very dangerous down that side. Lisa and Babel. Babel's penalised here. Yeah, I mean, I do think he worries David Moyes right so maybe the man on the ball, Arteta, his defensive qualities might not be up to coping with Lisa and Babel, and he does do that with Phil Neville. Look out. Oh. Strong running from Torres. Jagielka. Came second in the chase, and uh, three kicks been given. Little nudge. There you go. It's a free kick. No arguments about that. And no arguments about it being Liverpool's half hour. I just think the, the difference in the movement of the front men. I mean, Torres will come short and get it. He's spun in behind on numerous occasions. You know, and I think if it's not coming into Yakuba, he's got to try to look and get in behind Sammy Hupia for instance. Spin in the back a couple of times and just work the centre halves. But he's just been coming facing it all the time, and Everton's ball into him hasn't been good enough. I'd be surprised if this ball isn't good enough. Mm -hmm. Everton have a line of zonal defenders. Oh, that's Lucas, who might have been regarded as the surprise weapon for Liverpool in such a situation. What a ball. You think the keeper might come and get this? Look, it's only four yards out. How well does Carsley do here? Just gets ahead of Lucas, who really did go and attack it very purposefully. Gerard now to take the corner. Pissed out by Howard. Alonso. In again by Risa. Herpia getting a touch. Torres reacting pretty quickly again. Oh, well, in fact, Lescott left it to Pinar. <laughs> Count just too high for Babel. Away by Hibbert. Falling for Babel. This time can't make anything of it and he's annoyed with himself. Tata. Liverpool win here would widen the gap between the two in their favour to five points. And I think they, I do believe that Benitez would regard that as a very, very comfortable position for his side. He knows that Everton have to play who is at Chelsea in particular. In a game that Chelsea will probably go into knowing they have to win with any ambition of Winning the title. Liverpool only have two more at home, though, Andy. Mm. I know they've got some tough ones, haven't they? Yeah, Everton, only, Everton only two more yeah. away. They have to go to Arsenal as well. 
Arteta. Hibbert. that the early goal gave for Liverpool. It's just by that goal that they lead here. <laughs> Stephen Jarrod, the man who was substituted at Goodison Park in October for being too passionate. Yeah, he'll be going off in a minute, he's <laughs> no <more> careful. <laughs> that was a certainty, you could see that coming. He's chasing the ball back to the cop. He knows he's got a wonderful opportunity to rattle in a tackle on Jagielka. And he wasn't going to disappoint the cop, was he? Pushed by uh, Kaut Hampina. Well, Rafa Benitez has come up uh, with a position to Steven Gerrard where his uh, strong running and his strong will, really, is uh, given uh, what the manager clearly has come to regard as sufficient insurance with two playing behind him. Lucas and uh, Alonso today. Although Lucas uh, comes forward here and gets uh, Torres. Another ball to chase. Carrier. Osman really trying to get into the game. Uh, in the middle of Everton's midfield to try to affect some forward movement and he fought hard for some possession then. Peanut. Well, that's, that's typified Everton. They had a little chance there, just a glimmer of catching one. The break, Liverpool there when Osman stole the ball off Alonso. And just when you thought they might just have Liverpool a little stretch, lose control. Hey, hey. Gerrard. Babel. Good looking uh, left side for Liverpool. Wasn't looking quite so good there. Now well, that's what Yakuba's got to try and do more of. I mean he didn't get there, but he'll work Sammy Hoop here. We've seen how many times we see Sammy concede fouls in that area right there. When he gets drawn out the middle, he gets a little uncomfortable, he gets worried by pace, he gives away free kick after free kick, and I just think that. Everton have to try and work that route. In the build-up to this game, Liverpool uh, players have been talking about their respect for Everton's skill at set pieces. Well, they're putting four right in the corner of the box to attack this. And Lescott gets to it. Well, that might have hit the hand, you know. Sammy Hoopy, as I mean. I'm not so sure they knew an awful lot about it. I wouldn't say it's anything like the claims they had earlier this season but the fans right behind that goal were asking so was Lescott well, the fans uh, who had the best uh, view of it are those wearing blue and white yeah, of course <laughs> what a ball from Gerrard to Babel now he should take him on here and uh, Tony Hibbert but I think a pat on the head from uh, Tim Howard for doing his job. Absolutely, but this is what you'd want to see him do. This is the one there, as he goes up and he gets in, uh, it brushes the arm, but you're not getting a penalty for that. But Babble at the other end, he does exactly what you'd want. You've got 1v1 against a fullback, you back him into the penalty area and take him on. Hibbert just did a good job on him. Mm, Torres has gone unattended towards the near post. Played by uh, Carsley behind him. Reached by Risa. Everton pushing out. Well, has it has it been full of attempts at goal? Liverpool have been threatening, and that doesn't tell the whole story when you think of Cout and Babel, who probably should and could have added to this lead that Liverpool have, and didn't hit the target. That's when it's difficult for Yakub. That ball up, he's giving away a free kick. He's getting frustrated. 
And I think a lot of his frustration is about how little of the ball he's seen. But I think sometimes you have to work if you're a front man. The back four a little bit. Just throws the arm out there and it's a free kick. And I don't think he's worked the centre-backs maybe as much as he could have done. It's been hard for him, I'll grant you that. 19 goals this season, his first with Everton, of course, 13 mm. of them in the uh, Barclays Premier League. It's Gerrard! <laughs> Stunning effort. Torres. Gerrard also on 19 goals and so near to 20. Well, you knew what was coming, didn't you? Torres has done this well today, in the air. He's really made Mesh Yobo and Jaggy Yelka about, and as it dropped, you just thought, you saw the number eight, you saw him pull back that right foot, and you thought, oi, oi, Tim Howard's got a problem. Beautiful strike. Peanut. Lesko. Well, David Moyes is probably thinking, well, if he can just get the half-time, yeah. still only one adrift. I seen things. Did I see a score goal on the board? I think you did. <laughs> Just got the end of it. I think you're going to be showing us those goals later, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here's Lesko. Pina. Oh, goalkeeper's ball, but uh, a bit of sun in his eyes. No count for Rayner. Oh, yeah, you're right. Half time count coming quick enough for David Moyes. You're lucky still to be in it. Two glorious chances, squandered. A strike against the post from the captain. He has more questions and answers at half-time. But he's got two left-backs on the bench. He's got uh, Manuel Fernandez, uh, a grafting midfield player, and Thomas Gravison, who uh, I think, uh, even by his own admission, his best days are behind him. doesn't help him, three of your front men are unavailable for various reasons. Three plus Cahill. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Free kick to Liverpool. Much of this first half has been to Liverpool. Well, I think Rafael Benitez would be really disappointed if his team don't add to this. It's a half where maybe they should have put this game beyond Everton. And they haven't. Not yet. And Everton have a few more minutes to deal with Liverpool. They were in quite a rampant mood today. Gerrard's free kick. It's Phil Neville got ahead to it. Let's go. It's fallen there. For Arteta, there's a ball to uh, Yakubu. We've had a run at Risa here. Carragher looking to see who else is around to help out, and the answer is plenty. Well, Yakubu's given Pina a stick, and I, I'm sorry, Yak. I think the place you had to look is in that mirror at half time. Arteta. Lescott. Went back to Lescott. So if he'd have looked to the right, Osman yeah. was uh, in a decent position. Don't know it? if he shouted, Martin. Don't know if he screamed for it, but that was the ball. Just turned it infield to Osman. And he's right at Hoopy and Skirtle. I think it might be rollicking time at half time for Everton. I mean, that. I, mean, I don't know what David Moyes is like as a manager. I don't know whether. He loses it, his rag at times and gets annoyed with his players, but I think today is for, forever, and it's a perfect day to get in there and get right into the ribs and shake them up a bit. Because at the moment, there's only one team winning this game. Well, the, uh, the last two results, of course, have been disappointing for Everton. Yeah. They're losing at Fulham and uh, losing a lead to drop two points at home to West Ham. This is Everton v Liverpool, or Liverpool v Everton, you were saying. And that's Gerrard to Carragher. Torres and Kaut. What a goal it would have been. 
Now, when people talk about Steven Gerrard, sometimes you look at his passing stats, they'll say, and he doesn't complete an awful lot. But when you can do that, when there's a player on the pitch who's prepared to play 60-yard, 70-yard passes, more often than not, you're going to get a few wrong. But he never gets disappointed, Steven Gerrard, if he doesn't find his target. He'll just go and look the next one. Count. A double dutch for Liverpool here with Babel as well. And Count comes out to Risa. Vincent, uh, where it would have gone without the deflection. It's come off Babel, Martin. I'm, I'm convinced this hits Ryan Babel and goes for a goal kick. Another get a look at this here as Babel goes across. Yeah, that's Babel, and the referee's right there. Now, this is a kick in the teeth. If anything comes of this, look at Babel, there he jumps, flicks his heel, and goes way over the bar. I wonder if we'll get one of these where there's a, a free yeah, kick given mysteriously when the ball's, when the the ball's in the air. <laughs> We're into the one added minute. Up here, diving in. <laughs> it's a goal kick, not a free <laughs> kick. Sammy Heppi has actually scored in the Merseyside derby, of course, for Everton. That was in October. He still hasn't managed one for Liverpool. This is his 15th attempt. It would be interesting to know just how much of a season Sammy would have had if Daniel Aga not got injured. Started his 21st Premier League game today, Sammy Heppi. And I bet you at the beginning of the season he thought he'd be nowhere near that. He said a major contribution. Well, he plays to his strengths, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the best thing from Everton's point of view you can say about this first half is that they're still in the game. They should have been out of it, really. An early goal for Fernando Torres, crowning his Merseyside derby debut inside seven minutes. Steven Gerrard hitting a post with a wonderful volley and a Liverpool powering forward at every opportunity. Everton haven't got going, but at the break, they only trail at Anfield by one goal to nil. Peter Reid is with Jamie and myself, not too unhappy about that. It could have been a lot worse. Liverpool in front early and we'll be thinking Probably should be further in front, but it uh, gives Everton something to bite on for the second half. Reaction next. The Spanish football later looks like this. It's Deportivo against Mercia from seven on Sky Sports 1. Real Madrid against Sevilla from eight. Barcelona two up last night against Betis, ended up losing 3-2. Here at Anfield, Liverpool lead by a goal to nil, which, on the face of it, shouldn't please Peter Reid too much. But I think, yeah. bearing in mind the amount of play that Liverpool have had there, uh, Everton have, have got themselves something to go at, haven't they? I think Dave, David Moyes will be in there uh, leading the right attack, but only 1-0 down. He'll be grateful for it, because uh, Liverpool have uh, out-muscled them, uh, out -passed them. And, and looked as though they want to win it. And where I was saying I wanted Everton to play at a quick tempo, Liverpool have come out the blocks and done exactly that. And Everton have got to get hold of Torres at the, at the back, and they've got to get UQ to get older up here and try and pass it through the middle of the park, try and get Arteta on it. But the biggest thing is wi winning more of the physical challenges, because if you win them, at least you've got the football, and Everton haven't done it enough. When that ball found its way through to Fernando Torres, no doubt, was there? He expects only one outcome. Yakubu tries to be too clever, it's obvious. I mean, he, he picks up there, and because he's so strong, he feels that he can almost outmuscle Alonso, but Torres is aware of it. And from Everton's point of view, as you push out, you have to be aware who's around you. So if you're a central defender, if you're Yobo, if you're Lescott, whoever's playing left back, you cannot leave Torres. Look at Lescott running off number five. You've still not got the ball in, in proper position. And now to leave probably the most lethal, well, certainly the most lethal man on the pitch free like that is, is bad defending. You cannot take chances until you've got the ball, until you've won it and you're up the field. You can't be running beyond the ball like that, Peter, can you? Now you've got to you've got to look after the back door first and keep a clean sheet. But the, Yakubu's lost it. Jagielka's lost the physical challenge against Kaut. And when it fall, falls to Fernando Torres, forget about Have it. Have they won any battles yet, Everton? No, it's been very disappointing. It has been very disappointing. Liverpool have won Everton. I mean, flick on by Kaut, Torres on the move, and this is a great block by Everton. 
and then Cal. Yeah. I've been really impressed with Liverpool. They've been so yeah, sharp. Been so they've, been, they've been really for I mean, the first no, moment. The Everton could be two or three down. So you're thankful that it's all that is. Barbell's been electric. Um, this is Stevie Gerrard. What a strike this is. Absolutely top class. Bang. Hits that right out the middle. I don't think that's in the difference, but, but as Peter says, while it's 1-0 like this, the longer the game goes on... Well, that's an example. You, can't, you cannot yeah. get any worse, Peter, really, can you? You can only improve from that first half. Exactly. There's so many examples, you know, Liverpool stretch and play, great layoff and count. But just before we know that, that Gerrard shot, it's Torres putting pressure on people. It, it bounces down. And Gerrard's there, so with the shot... Every time the ball's gone got forward with Yakubu, one, he's not kept it, as Andy said in commentary, but you've not had people joining him either. I think that's where they miss Cahill so much today. I mean, it's yeah. an obvious statement. Only takes a moment, though, doesn't it? Only takes a set piece and... It does, but you, one, you, one. you've got to join him. You've got to get up the field. You've got to be... Every time that ball's going forward, you've got to have one of the midfield players, be it Osman or Phil Neville, coming off the sides, but they've not done it at all. David Moyes will be saying that. He said, We're, we've got out of jail here. Only 1-0 down. Mm. Come on. Yeah, we need to get better all over the pitch. You know, from back, right through the middle of the park and up the top end as well. Two other Premier League games being played today, both finished. Chelsea won earlier and there was never any doubt, was there? King Kev has got Newcastle on the move. They've won again today, 4-1 at White Hart Lane. How pleased is he, the owner? A Cavalio goal for Chelsea beat Middlesbrough at Stamford Bridge. Spurs, who were in front, beaten at home 4-1 by Newcastle. Amongst their scorers, Michael Owen again, that's 3-3 three three for him, and Newcastle ease into 12th. Well here, what have we got second half with just one goal between the two Merseyside clubs? Legend, Ian Rush, who settled a few of these occasions. 25 derby goals in all competitions. Settled two FA Cup finals, didn't he, against Everton. Handing out academy certificates this afternoon. And we couldn't be anywhere else, could we, other than Liverpool. For the Merseyside derby, Liverpool leading against Everton by a goal to nil. That would do them. That would give them the five-point gap tonight in fourth that they're looking for. And somebody, incidentally, needs to change the clock on the live building. It's an hour back. Maybe that's what's happened to Everton today. Don't forget Champions League coming up this week. We've got the quarter-final first leg between Arsenal and Liverpool from seven on Sky Sports 2. It's in high definition on HD2, that's channel 409. We've also got Fenerbahce against Chelsea from 7.30 on Sky Sports 3. Will Liverpool start thinking about that date the longer this goes on? Not yet, no they can't. I mean they need, certainly need another goal, but if they keep playing like they are, keep passing the ball, keep being quicker to every tackle, I mean that was the difference in, this, in that first half. If they keep doing that, you can only see, see the, the right outcome and you can see Liverpool winning by two or three. Everton have to improve. I think they, they, they just have to, don't they, Peter? Well, the right outcome for me will have it and turn out the second half because they did in the first half. They can't be any worse than that. You know, they've got to improve. I'm just hoping Liverpool have expanded a lot of energy and have it get on, on top on the second half. More in hope than belief? Or is there a no, belief? No, I, I, I think uh, they were that bad. They can't be that bad again. I mean, Jamie said they look flat in uh, the Fulham and West Ham game, and they've looked flat there, so I think uh, David Moyes will be got right into these blue shirts of players. OK, don't forget the last word at half past six tonight. Here we go again. Second half, Liverpool one up. Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Thanks, Richard. Just a reminder, if you don't know your Merseyside football history, this used to be Everton's home ground. They had a rent dispute in the late years of the 19th century and they walked out and they left a vacancy which another club was formed to fill, Liverpool FC. How much simpler Everton's life would have been if they'd paid the extra and stayed put. Simpler but for us less uh, colourful, we'd have missed out on a lot of uh, wonderful occasions in these Merseyside derbies. It's not been a wonderful occasion so far for David Moyes and his players but they've got 45 minutes to try and show that they have moved their clocks forward. Well, it looks like one change as a set up for kickoff is that Pinar's going to start down the right hand side here. And uh, Phil Neville has moved over to the left. Everton fortunate to be but one goal down. 
Skirtle. He's had a lot of difficult defending to do. Alonso, and off goes Torres straight away at the start of the second half. Gerard Herring into the middle count as well. The central striker in the wide position has got a lot to do. He's not giving it up easily. That's the up and certainly uh, struck Phil Neville up around the collarbone area in his new position uh, on the left. And the Liverpool left is Babel. So plenty of the ball in the first half. And now by Osman. Kuba and can't keep it. That was one he might have dealt with a bit better. That was still spinning like a top, wasn't it? From Oz, as a couple Neville and Osman have just hacked it forward, and the possession's dropped to them. That's got to get better. <laughs> Torres, we thought Tim Howard was uh, coming out a bit further. He might have slid his captain in there as well. his head bubble Lucas it's the collision nothing sinister between Lucas and uh, Neville he now a chance to express himself for uh, on the right hand side and Lucas has lost it to Arteta if he just says they an ankle wheel and Kubu Again, that's too easy for Liverpool. Camp wasn't aware that uh, he's got a teammate in trouble, nor is Torres, but he has taken it out. He was on uh, international duty with Brazil, but uh, it was just a substitute at the Emirates for their win over Sweden. Didn't get on. But he's in good company. The, uh, his first season with Liverpool. Seemed to be OK as he went for that. And he's going in again against Arteta. And again against Osman, who just drops it behind Liverpool. One for Yakubu to chase. And then take on the Herpia and run it into the defender and get a corner. But that's what he has to do more of, and that's what Everton have to do more of. That's a ball at least Yakubu's going to show an interest in. He can make something happen with it. A little ball down the side. Well, Manchester United, through Cristiano Ronaldo's header, scored uh, attacking Liverpool with a left-wing corner last Sunday. Turn towards Rayner, who uh, gets a fist. Clears Liverpool's lines and Babel. Make sure it's a bit more than that. Set by Pina. Third yellow card for Everton. That's great play from Babel. Pina looks the wrong way and gets caught here, and then Babel's just looking to drive forward, take the attack to them. Pina knew what he was doing, knew his team was struggling to get back. Alonso. So and uh, Everton can cope quite comfortably this time. They're making progress in the context of this fixture, but still rather typical of a, a shortfall for Liverpool. That they're playing for fourth place and not for anything higher. Getting a bit of an earful from uh, Phil Neville and giving something back. Oh, I think you could. There's a one given the earful, Martin. <laughs> yeah, again, it's someone else's fault. <laughs> Behind Alonso, Pina, Osman. Can't get through, stopped by Risa. And goes Carsley. 
And again, had to be careful, he was booked in the first half. And uh, maybe that's why he's just staying down a little bit longer. He's not going to get a second caution. It was uh, a slightly dangerous situation in that respect. To go for a ball that was bouncing away from him. Well, I think it's a ball that's bouncing and he has to go and make an, uh, an attempt at it. He doesn't really make the tackle at all, he's a bit tentative with it. It's amazing how when you do one tentative like that, how you end up getting hurt yourself. Skirtle with the free kick. And by Lascott. And Tata just taking it into Alonso. Neville. Liverpool wanted the game stopped. Passing a touch from Torres and a back heel by him. Gerard was reaching for it. Strong play by uh, Lescott, of which uh, Everton need plenty more. All over the pitch, really. Hibbert. with the tracksuit bottoms off. Bottoms off, pads on. Did quite an extensive warm-up at half-time. We thought that uh, we might be making the change then, David Moyes. Probably having a look for ten. Arteta. I was looking and looking and not seeing. Jagielka. Now Osman. Only a pocket of space. And Pinar's offside. That was better. Probably for the first time they played the way through. Pinar just a little anxious to get in there. Over Keane. David Moyes has been setting out this week his vision for the future of Everton. He wants uh, some investment from the board. So, uh, Take them to a higher level. Still feels there's a bit of a culture of, um, well, we got to a, a semi final in the Carling Cup, the last 16 of the UEFA Cup. Pats on the back all round. He understandably wants more and the real competing for silverware. Neville, who's got plenty of winners' medals in his time with Manchester United. Now Yakubu. And out by Lucas. Gerard. Count. With a confident turn, Alonso. But, uh, Crown were calling to help him. Even if his teammates might not have been. And Tata came back. Babel. Kinsley got in and. Uh, Stephen Gerrard apologising for contact that he would say would be accidental. I'm not sure what Carsley would say about it. Howard Webb's just having a word with the skipper as he walked past. Yeah, he slides in. Foot comes down on the knee. I'm pretty sure there was no intent, just the way it happened. Hardened is Lee Carsley. Mm. It hasn't been as much of a battle for Everton as they would like, but there's still only one goal adrift, and there's uh, maybe a bit more cause for optimism from their camp. Not that they've taken the second half by the scruff of its neck, but Liverpool have looked less like uh, adding to Everton's problems. Hibbert. Yeah, difficult to break down when they have a lead Liverpool with this system. The two sitting midfield players in the back four that play very close together. Don't get drawn forward too much. Don't take too many chances. They tried to get his chest there, Carsley. The referee was looking front on at him. It's cut the 
this game uh, at the moment well under control, Howard Webb. This was pointed out by Richard at the start. There have been uh, more sendings off in Merseyside derbies than any other Premier League uh, fixtures. Well, it's been quite an easy one for them to referee. The early tackle from Carsley, really probably the worst in the game. Yellow card very quickly for it. Liverpool are happy to keep the game like this. They're, you know, leading it 1-0, very comfortable indeed. They don't want to do anything to change the tempo of the game or the intensity of it. They're happy. Alonso. By Yoba. Lucas gets a toe in against uh, Arteta. Carsley. Osman up alongside uh, Yakubu. Oh, the best goal in the world, Oswald's not winning that ball. Not without a ladder. Up <laughs> <laughs> here. Alonso. Gerard wants to be involved again. Lucas. Give it back to Gerard. Reach Carragher. Spun away to Osman, who was caught by Lucas. A couple of uh, untidy moments there. Challenged Howard Webb's judgment. Certainly uh, inflamed the passions of the crowd. It wasn't meant for Carragher. No. But they got there eventually, both of them, didn't they? It's a little late, Jamie Carrigan, that. And then it bounced in between them again, and then another thrash at each other. And Lucas brings down uh, Yakubu. A bit uh, for territorial advancement for Everton here. Well, you know, David Moyes would have been saying one thing at half time at least, and that would be, you know, one chance. We surely will create one chance this match. And as long as we keep it at 1-0, then that might make all the difference. Just out of the picture, Howard Webb was laying down the law to Carsley. He might have said something about uh, referee being a bit stricter with a yellow card for a Liverpool player, but I don't know, I'm only guessing. Yeah, I think it was. Le Levis tackle, look at Levis tackle on Yakuba there, he was moaning about. by Arteta, not to any great effect. Hung up by Hibbert, plenty in blue going for this one. Jagielka. Powering in on Arteta and uh, Lucas. Uh, free kick again. And it needs to be better from Mikel Arteta. The one thing you would expect from him is a, a decent delivery. Didn't get it, last one. Another pull as always, every player back, marking their space. And is there a gap for an Everton player to nip in for an equaliser here? Osman! And the answer was yes. Just been that man. Well, that was a much better ball. Just comes back from being offside to on, and the ball just drops the other side of Torres. You watch Torres, he comes out, but he doesn't get back in. I tell you what, a glancing header scores because no one's near him, no one gets to him, and it's a genuine opportunity. Got a whack from Skirtle for his trouble, but that the first real chance that Everton have had in the 60th minute of this match. In the 60th minute. Also sees uh, the emergence of Manuel Fernandez. Uh, well, they're his... just having a little look to see if Osman's going to be okay. I think that's what David Moyes has said. He says he's okay. <laughs> we'll let uh, Reina restart the game. This is a hundred. <laughs> Premier League game for Liverpool, incidentally. If he keeps a clean sheet here, he sets a new record, beating uh, Ray Clements' mark in his first 100 games. 
A level on 53 shutouts each at this uh, point. Osman. Oh, Yakubu is going to get here, and Herpia got the ball. He went looking, Yakubu. He went looking. It's a great touch by Gerard for Babel to fasten on to. And uh, Yobo, one number four, makes his challenge as the other number four had on Yakubu. Oh, watch end. how quickly he's going to ground here. There you go. He's going well before the tackle's even on his way. He's a lucky boy, Yakubu, because if Howard Webb had thought the same as me, he'd be booking him. So it's Pina, who's uh, only just back from a spell of illness and probably not uh, right up to full match speed. He's put in an hour. And replaced by Manuel Fernandez back at Everton this season on loan, this time from uh, Valencia. Juggling from uh, Risa. Oh, high challenge. Well, I remember the fact conversation is uh, about Yakubu's little bit of simulation. Might have been. <laughs> well, with Rob Styles, the fourth official. Mm. He's uh, a regular in the decision making in regard to penalties. Played one here earlier in the season, didn't he? Against uh, Liverpool for Chelsea. Of course, a lot of consternation in the uh, <laughs> dugout that he was. <laughs> Justin Rafa Benitez in just a moment ago. Here's uh, Couch. Carried it. And from back was Osman. Still got uh, just under a third of the game to save the game, Everton. Hasn't been as vibrant a, a Liverpool in the second half, whether that's because just pulled in their horns a little bit because they've got the lead. I don't think that Everton are going to break them down. It's a risky thought if that's the case. Gerard oh, almost through the bubble. Great interception by Yobo. No, that is dangerous to assume that. You can they are very good at protecting leads, we know that Liverpool. But as we've just seen with Osman moments ago, one set play, good ball in. Suddenly, you may just regret not getting the second. One thing uh, Everton have shown this season is a, a terrific spirit. They're a small squad. David Moyes uh, has got them uh, a real sense of togetherness. Certainly benefited in that respect by being uh, allowed time to do the job. Six years now, he's been manager of Everton. Sure, other clubs could uh, learn from that, being patient with yeah. their bosses. That'd be fair. I think Osman and Arteta now are just going to push as far forward as they can, try and occupy uh, Lucas and Alonso and allow Carsley just to just sit there. And if Steven Gerrard's causing a problem, then to deal with it. Well, the referee was a long way away from that. It's uh, looking for any... Uh, Guidance from Mike Malarkey, the uh, assistant on the far side, as to where the count was deliberately impeded. No, I've got to go all the way back because the ball didn't go out the area when Yobo touched it. It's always uh, seemed uh, a mistake that has no punishment, that because yeah. you just get to take it again. I think it's a daft rule, isn't it? Right? Oh, Lord, Jesus. Lord. Yeah, you must say Lord. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, the law of the Merseyside derby is it's never over till the final whistle blows, and Everton coming from uh, a position of uh, improbability. There's still only one adrift, and... Uh, oh. Torres would have been away if Jagielka hadn't just got uh, something on that. Big interception, wasn't it? 
tapped out. Gerard uh, making the forward run. Here comes Howard, and uh, there's enough pace on the ball for him to get there. No, can Everton win a second ball? They don't win too many first, they've hardly won one. Yeah, again, no. That's a red shot that picks up the knockdown. Let's try one from Risa, though. Osman. Not uh, showing that job involves defending on the right hand side as well as attacking. Well, the game, uh, the impression is being played in uh, Liverpool territory. But it's really only Everton just trying to chase down some positions rather than having any control football really in their locker. It's good play from Liverpool again here. Yes. Everton have to risk that. Arteta. Got the better of Alonso. Rather like Mascherano got the better of Alonso at Old Trafford when Alonso tried to stop him going to the referee. He couldn't uh, hold his teammate off, then he couldn't hold the opponent off just down beneath us. And it's uh, Hibbert's cross. I'm not sure how good mates they are, Alonso and Arteta, whether there's some national pride going on there, but they've certainly got stuck into each other today. From, uh, the Basque region of Spain, up there, Real Sociedad. Count. Oh, Jackie Oka. Lunged and didn't really uh, make any contact. Here is Alonso, hit to uh, Yobo. Well, that was definitely working the goalkeeper. Lescott prevents any possibility of a corner. Liverpool looking for a second win in the second half and a second goal. Still the early strike by Fernando Torres, the only difference between the two sides on the scoreline. But it's Gerard and it's Lucas. Nobody gets in the way again. And that's two good blocks in 30 seconds from Joseph Yobo. Whether that would have worked the goalkeeper, I'm not sure. Now he didn't know that. He's putting his body in the way. So it's paid for. You just feel a second goal and it's good night, Everton. It comes from a Gerrard corner. Spencer jumping for it. And Count jumping for it without any real sense of where his bearings were. Jagielka. Well, I've got to do a bit better than that. One of the two attempts on goal. And Gerard made it his against Yobo. Trying to see where Torres is. And Yobo, in the end, conceded only a corner. His clearance charged down, charged down by the Liverpool skipper. And, uh, Everton uh, players having a go at uh, Yobo, while the Everton fans are having a go at <laughs> Steven Gerrard. <laughs> Friendly derby, you must be joking. <laughs> Lescott really knocks it away. And straight up in the air from Arteta. Lucas, Manuel Fernandez, Ikubu, Osman. There's a runner. It's Phil Neville. He's not quite running in the right areas. Osman uh, didn't have an instant pass to give. I just think it was a little bit laboured when he got it as well. You know, there wasn't a spark. He didn't pick it up and was immediately driving forward. Took an awful long time to get it under control. Teta, Carsley. Yobo, Fernandez, doesn't lack confidence. And 
Neville, Osman. Lescott well forward. Hamilton getting a second substitute ready. And this one's getting launched in again, no doubt about that. to uh, what was said to him. And a play on it from Jack Yelka. Another Everton caution, which is uh, another indication of the barometer of this match. And yellow cards. Well, it's uh, a Merseysider, Leighton Baines. He's coming on for Phil Neville we'll to get that uh, arm band elsewhere. And to Leon Osman is a bit reluctant to put it on, looking around to see if anybody else wanted it, but uh, he's skipping out. He's come through the ranks at uh, Everton Football Club. Phil Neville, partly I think down to that incident on the far side, but also the fact that he's been taken off, been removed at a time where obviously he would feel that he can contribute to the fight that Everton need to put up in this last 20 minutes. It does finally look, Andy, as though we've got Arteta yeah. on the right hand side. Taking a while. Mm. 72 minutes, in fact. Babel. Nikubu. Well, it's taking 72 minutes for Yakubu to rough up the two centre backs in one movement. Stop Hoopy a winning header for the first time. And using his strength against Skirtle. Well, there's still time in his ninth the career appearance against Liverpool to get his first goal. Hibbert, Osman, breaks for Gerard though. Count goes to the right, Torres coming from the left, trying to get through the centre. Watch this is well, well by Yobo's pace, yeah, yeah, have matched Torres's. Manuel Fernandez. Nice ball. Baines. First real involvement. One against Carragher, a turn against Carragher, but not a cross against Carragher. But it is a corner for Everton. Wonder what he'll think, Jimmy Carragher. He has to play right back again. I guess he'll trot up the party line. If that's what the manager wants, I'm happy to play anywhere. <laughs> Frenchman slotted by Howard Webb. Champions League action to come. Uh, Liverpool know it only too well. They play at the Emirates in the first leg of their quarter final. You see that with us on Sky Sports 2 and Sky Sports HD 2 Wednesday from 7. Versus Chelsea is your preferred option. You've got that as well. Sky Sports 3, 7.30. I'm sure Arsene Wenger will be an interesting viewer this afternoon. I think this is pretty much the system he's going to face if I was a betting man on Wednesday. That Liverpool are adopting today. It worked so well for them away against Inter. Torres is offside. Well, after 20 minutes here, you might have thought at this stage Rafa Benitez would be able to switch his mind to mm -hmm. Wednesday and pull off one or two of his more important players. Yeah, he's gone beyond his time. He's normally 65 to 70 when he looks at making changes. But he can't take the risk with uh, Liverpool only one goal to the good. Count. Oh, how? I wonder whether he 
he's so bad bowler. Well, the cane stopped, came again. And that indecision almost fatal. Well, just played hopefully forward. And he comes and he just checks at the edge of his area. Just comes again. Alonso. A bit more like that from Liverpool in the second half. Occasionally they've uh, got the flow going again. That gets away from uh, Lescott. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a funny derby in many ways. You know, there's a lot of passion and, and power from Liverpool and quality in the first half. Everton didn't get started at all. Everton have been better. As Peter Reid said, it, it couldn't be any worse second half. Without, apart from the Osman header, without ever looking at getting back on level terms. There's still been very little from them in an attacking sense. And Liverpool have played the game in the second half the way it's been. It's fairly comfortable for them. Gerard. This is Jackie Elka. Trying to fly the flag for Everton. Hibbert. Carsley will have it. Oh. Fernandez. Kubo. The second attempt. Well, when he goes left, someone's got to be there through the centre. Jagielka did have Osman to try and work with, but couldn't uh, produce a pass that might have got Everton in a position to at least work Pepe Reina. It was a good ball in from Fernandez. He really fizzed it, didn't he, Jagielka? I thought he might have got a hold of it, might have got a shout from his mates. He didn't. Liverpool players were already here at the time, getting down to business, but uh, they'd seen the, the nerviness of Chelsea earlier, 1-0 oh, yeah. up. They wouldn't be wanting to put themselves in a, a similar position. Lucas. Chelsea did get their win. Arsenal have won this weekend, Manchester United as well. with the flag. <laughs> That's what he gives him, Torres. You know, that was just a hopeful little crowd forward into their space. You know, there was no ball on, but he just dropped it in there knowing that Torres happy, happy to go after anything and make something out of nothing. The ball is... Uh... Coming back by the direct route. Now Webb was surely uh, he's taking it uh, on board with the added time. You can understand them doing that if Everton were all over Liverpool, but it uh, has not been the case today. Osman. Back to Fernandes. Nobody on the right, so substitute looks left. To Baines. Green playing for throwing positions here. Maybe they can work something. Everton can get a decent ball into the penalty area. As Baines gets it back from Manuel Fernandes. Whose cross it is blocked by Skirtle. Just over ten minutes left. Everton have been behind for most of this match. But it's Gerard. And Risa is on the break. Inside Torres. Babel is there as well. Hibbert, very clean piece of dispossessing. Osman. One or two uh, gambling that Liverpool could... Uh, Produce extra numbers mm. in that attack. No. Well, they committed five now. ahead of the ball. Carsley.
10 minutes left for Everton, really, to take mm. a risk or two. Nothing in that last 10. Uh, not their share of the possession, I guess. Certainly from uh, the first half. But as you say, Andy, without threatening uh, Reina's goal, but for that moment when uh, Osman had glanced the ball rather than got a solid header on it, he would have been celebrating at 1 1. Well, Reina's not been deceived second half. I think that tells you pretty much everything. swayed by Everton's protest. Fernandez just walked that out for a goal kick. No. He didn't, did he? I just don't know how a, a linesman who's two yards away can't see that mark. I really don't. No excuse for that. Ryan Babel is off. Rossi Benayoun, who got the winner for Israel in midweek. Yeah, effective first half bubble, I thought. Less so in the second. But that, you could say that about pretty much all of them. Steven Gerrard, Fernando Torres. They're just about doing enough to, to be leading 1 0. Gerrard. Got it to the feet of Kaut. Lucas, Alonso. Carrier won't be the most adventurous right back you've ever seen, especially uh, in these circumstances. He's already on his way back. He's fallen to the feet of Lucas, though, it's a good one. Yeah, they've got Lescott up top now. I wondered when that change was going to come. Tells you again about the, uh, the difficulties in uh, Everton's squad through injuries and illness. But he has scored eight times this season. Julian Lescott. I'm not sure any of those goals have come when he's been an emergency striker, though. He's carrying kind of his well forward here. No, I think not. He's got just looking across to get some uh, sort of instructions. Oh, no, he's going back now. now. Swap. He's got the centre-back and Jagielka's going up. Alongside Yakubu. Not a bit of foul. Liverpool are really kicking themselves if they don't win this game. They would be. But yet again, why does it take the Yak 84 minutes before he backs into Hupia, gets it on his chest, drops down, and somebody joins him for one of the few times, that being Jagielka, and they win a free kick. Arteta spotting the ball up. Baines could take it uh, with a bit of a left footer's curve on it. And it goes uh, to Fernandez. As Carragher is stuck out of foot. Kept in by Risa. And here's Torres. And uh, that's good work by Howard. It would an easy one for Leighton Baines, who's the defender. Coming back facing his own goal. Six minutes left, plus added time. Jagielka beaten by Herpia. Again, too far away. If ever, no, the goalkeeper must have set for what? 10, 15 seconds there, saying I'm going to knock this long. And yet, no one got anywhere near him, Orsman. Arteta in particular, the two you'd expect, as that ball dropped. There is Jagielka, oh, and it almost got through to Yakubu. He's diverted away from him by uh, Herpia. I don't know whether the flag might have gone up. That's out. Oh, you don't know now, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you were looking. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little glance. Stupidly. <laughs> I was reacting more to the situation than your judgment. <laughs> he could have been offside, you could, but anyway, it's uh, Arteta. 
Five minutes left. It's been a strange Merseyside derby in that Everton are fortunate, really, to still be uh, in the fight for the point, or the points, even. Here comes Reyna. Oh, and it was Hibbert, who's never scored in any game for Everton. Would have been a very good time to start. Here's uh, Arteta. Yakubu. And that's more of a desperation look to a clearance for Liverpool, perhaps for the first time by uh, Skirtle. And I just wonder how good a chance that was for Tony Hibbert. He sneaked in at the back post, I'm not so sure if he got a little excited or whether it closed up for him, got blocked. Down to four minutes plus added time. And here lies the problem in this league if you don't get the second goal. As Chelsea almost found to the cost earlier today. Scott's going to uh, make a run. Nobo coming in behind him. Again, it's uh, only dropping on Herpia's head. Here's uh, Manuel Fernandez. And Teta, who'd taken the corner. Carsley. Maybe a little bit too clever with the pass. Teresa. Count. Benayoun, Torres, and he'll get it back. And it's Kaut, deflection. Oh. Well, that would have uh, ended any lingering doubts here. Yeah, I think the deflection almost it helps it. I think without the deflection, the goalkeeper probably saves it comfortably. But that deflection takes it wide of the goalkeeper. Just watch the way this nearly bends in. Look at that, that's how close that is. <laughs> Out by uh, Jagielka's head. Risa. coming and he's knocked the ball away and uh, he'll get back to watch us yeah. Oh, yeah. right in front of the Everton fans so there was going to be a lot of noise from it and Torres of course got booked last uh, week and set off a, a storm for Mascherano Reaching five yellow cards means uh, officially a warning from the FA at this stage in the season. Certainly no suspension involved. Count. Oh, I thought they had wasted that situation there. Got the free kick, they had everyone forward. And they've tried to work the ball. They got nowhere on the end. Benitez is going to allow Fernando Torres to get his own uh, ovation here. Jermaine Pennant will replace him in the 90th minute. He leaves at this stage, this late, late stage, the uh, match winner in his first Merseyside derby. Get another sign of his admirable adjustment to life in English football, life in the Barclays Premier League. Yeah. Now you talked about his lack of away goals in the Premier League, but big one in Milan, scored in Marseille, big one in Marseille. And it's in Europe, he'll be asked to do it again on Wednesday. Here's Gerrard! <laughs> Trying to have the final word here. <laughs> Brilliant. Explosive. Brilliant. This is what you call unexpected. And this is why it nearly beats the goalkeeper. Nobody gets to him, they're all expecting a cross. And he suddenly decides he'll rifle one in from there. Well, there's no point in your cube being back there. He should be right up there in the halfway line. I'd even put Jaggy Elk up there as long side him as well. No point in being back in the area. 
So we're into the uh, three extra minutes. Skirtle heads away. They've done a bit more Everton in the second half. But so far, not enough to uh, rescue a point. Gerrard, the runner is Cout. I uh, thought about coming, but uh, left it for Lescott, who's had a good turn of foot. Not much time for playing one-twos around at the back. No. Cout getting a real ovation for his uh, shuttle running between the uh, Everton trio. Yobo. Hit it up and hope that Yukubu, Yukubu can do something, but those hopes haven't looked like being fulfilled for Everton today. David Moyes, we've stressed it often enough, short of attacking players because of... Uh, Injury and illness, certainly the loss of Cahill with that metatarsal injury last weekend against West Ham was a very cruel blow in the build-up to a match of this magnitude. But even taking that into account, Andy, I think you will have expected more from Everton here today. Yeah, I think they've been disappointing. I think David Moyes would have expected more. They have been slightly better second half. I just think that lacking in creation really is shown today you know you look at games like this and it's important for Everton that in a system like this that certain players play well I'm talking about Osman, Arteta and Yakubu. and if they don't then there's very very little room for error for Everton then. well as at Goodison Park Stephen Gerrard's not going to go the distance but this time it's only by a few seconds Great appreciation here for one of their own. And again, it's just running down the clock in a few seconds for Peter Crouch. It's amazing that you get an appearance for this, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> I guess in the old days you used to get appearance money for it, <laughs> but I uh, don't think in the current contracts. Liverpool almost there. Closer than it might have been, certainly the way Liverpool played in the opening half hour of the game. They settled for a more economic approach in the second half, but they increased their insurance over Everton to five points with six games left. Fernando Torres with his goal that came early. An important win. Yakubu couldn't uh, inspire Everton at the other end, and they were second best, though the scoreline suggests narrowly, but that really wasn't the case. A triple header for Liverpool against Arsenal to come. And they go off to it, set up by the completion of a red double over blue on Merseyside this season. 2-1 at Goodison Park, 1-0 at Anfield today. And that should be enough for Liverpool to take fourth. Five points the gap now between themselves and Everton. Nine between themselves and Portsmouth, who are sixth. Liverpool's day. Chelsea were winners earlier with a goal from Ricardo Cavallo against Middlesbrough, who had some really good chances late on to not just equalise, but win it. In the end, the points were Chelsea's and Spurs were in front against Newcastle, but took a hiding, as it turned out, amongst Newcastle scorers Michael Owen, his third in three games. Derby relegated yesterday. Fulham and Bolton stay in the drop zone. Four points the gap now between Bolton and Birmingham. Then come Wigan, Reading, Sunderland. Down today, Middlesbrough down today because Newcastle have eased their way into 12th. No change for Tottenham. And then come West Ham, Manchester City, Villa on a terrible run again. Just two wins from 10 for Villa. No change. They stay eighth. 
Blackburn are seventh. Then come Pompey and Everton, Liverpool fourth, Arsenal, Chelsea into second today, and Manchester United five points clear.